Like, you're just playing Yo, a normal man. game of hearts. Yes, yes. Kappa! Or, Kappa! No, 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 no. Kappa, no cap. No cap. No cap. Uh -huh. <laughs> or. He's got a lot play. of oh, Wait, no oh, how did you, how did you, uh, what was your plan on or, winning that game? Please explain. <laughs> real quick, real quick. I'm sorry to interject. Actually, no, I'm to play the characters. What was do you do there? there? Oh, oh, he gets so drafted. I mean, holy Royaled. Shit. Or we play with a little juicy rule. You'd be playing normal here. Like, What's the rule? Okay. Yeah, we'd have to know the rule ahead of time. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So here's the rule. I, I will tell you the rule. I'll, actually, I'll give you... I'll give you the control of this rule, okay? And cool. whatever happens, I'm going to say this too. Whatever happens, if if we go to a game seven, this rule is going to get applied to next game. I choose you not to play it now, okay? Okay. So Trick, Trick had suggested that he wanted to play some League of Legends. Oh. And I was thinking, what's the difference between League and Heroes? And there's a button on everybody's keyboard. It's in the lower left corner. It's the Z button that you mount up. Oh. So the rule would be no mount. So you would unbind Wait, your mount key. No, so is it no mount or you're not allowed to press Z? Yeah, let's just play League. Let's just no, play League. No mount. No, yeah. no mount or you can't press Z because, like, can you fall stand? Yes, can you go yes, yes. That's the cool part. You can. Okay. But you can't mount up as other characters. So I'll forget right. that all the time. I like you know, it. That no, no, no. You unbind, you unbind it, Turk. You but can't can you it. click it at the bottom of the interface? No, 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 no. no, no. Because <laughs> yeah, if you be click that. it, then you're honestly, disqualified. If you, honestly, if you went that far out of your way to click a mount, that would be insane. But no. <laughs> so That's the BM you, mount. If, right we, if we do go to that rule, you will be unbinding that Z key from your keyboards. So okay. you guys choose. Do you want to do no mounts? Let's play a regular play a game for game. Just now. a regular game. That's we'll not do the no mount game. Yeah, then the finals will be the no mount. Because He's we're just going to win this game, so we won't have to play the no mount one. <laughs> Moon said the finals is going to be a no mount game. Great. Yes, perfect. Yeah, imagine. What's it What's it going to be? Ban Lunar, yeah, right, guys? Like, come on. Uh, yeah, you, they do have to win. Me. Okay, so I need I need a map from Leon's team, and Leon's team will be first pick. Wait, they get first pick mm -hmm. and map pick? Yeah, they do. What the heck? Nah, yep. Wacky rule. They literally won they last game. Yeah, map with your full comp. Are you complaining? No, I hell? think our team, because they'll use it as an excuse, mm, we, we have do Sylvanas it. and Medic. Oh, let's we play mines. Oh. We opt to give them first pick <laughs> and map choice. Because we don't give a shit, we're gonna be. You didn't have a choice. Oh. Don't be the same in this measure. Oh, you know, fuck you, man. Oh yeah, we right, off. Go ahead, first try pick. After it's already been off. Try and 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 <laughs> for this, for no mount game, I, I accept Warhead. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I got disgusted at myself when I saw. Uh, like I, I'm not a fan of Warhead because it's one of the. It's just it's not a fun map to cast. There's so there's just it's such a big map that it's just like top lane does top lane things, mid lane is just in mid lane, and then bottom is just bottom, and then like maybe once in a while you get some rotations. But we're not on that map. We are on Infernal Shrines, and we have a ban on TRL from Turkish Delight. As we are saying, this is a full regular Heroes of Storm game. No tricks, no changes. No, nothing. No super spice, no secret sauce. So Tracer ban gonna be targeting Mockery right there. Infernal Shrines, Mac here. Uh, what's what's your big priority? Shrine clear, wave clear, rotations? What, what, do, you, what do you first go for on Infernal Shrines? I think I, I just I always 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 on this map like wave clear like wave priority is so important um, and then some sort of person that can do the shrine right uh, Sonia and you have yeah you have characters that can do them both like you got your the orcs you got your Sonias um, but you know again we're, we're in this new era we have characters like Zul too um, that also are fairly effective at being kind of hybrid both wave clear both objective getters um, so I, I typically like to prioritize that. And then again, always with drafts, with my types of drafts, I always like that chaos element. Um, it could come from the main tank. It could come from, okay, as we see the Zul's picked up. Um, it could come from the main tank. It could come from the support even at times, right? You could pick something like a Deckard Kane uh, as a as that kind of surprise factor that, you know, Ooh. it's time to go factor. Ooh, and the, the allure does Allure special rag. right out the gate. I, so. 
Ragnaros is in a Mephisto. There's the surprise no, no, factor too, yeah. No, 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 no. Do you think, do you think, do you think there's a possibility here? Because they Four. do have the big scoop. For if anyone doesn't, I mean, big the... scoop plays a ton of Cho, if I'm not mistaken. Like, oh really? Heroes of, Fit Heroes of Fitness plays a lot of Cho Go. Like that's that's that, like that's their jam. I was thinking Arthas, but oh, Arthas I mean, would be great here as well. But like, Cho I, I, looks pretty juicy here too. Like if it if it, I don't see it not not being really like it's it being strong versus their team, right? Right, and 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 so Cho Go works really really well on come and fight me type maps like. Mm -hmm. Infernal Shrines, Towers of Doom. Basically, I mean, maybe not come and fight me. Point control based maps. So, um, yep. Full Sky Foundry, you Full see Sky. that in there as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, and like sometimes Tomb of the Spider Queen because they can be an impressive threat throughout the rotations. But uh, I, I mean, Big Scoop does, I do believe. Big Scoop ban, is that, is that suggesting maybe a chill? Like, no, right? Um, is that I suggesting? I, I feel like that's suggesting the Arthas. Maybe. Arthas kind of has a a bit of a problem versus the stew right with the silence uh they're not going for it it's gonna be arthas because yeah. they yeah they would have had to pick it up there um i think realistically the stukov was is it's a really strong zoning tool yeah uh and and uh, the other thing to note really quickly we have anna we have um deckard kane up both mm. of those heroes are insanely strong into alex Strauss anduin. because of the uh healing reduction they can provide yeah. with either biotic grenade or emerald but it's gonna be an anduin a manduin coming in for some leap of fates really won't be able to do much for the death wing and i wonder if they actually picked up the alex Strauss. So i think this is a counter? Is it a main tank Zul? Potentially. Mm -hmm. main tank, main yeah, tank. I don't really know what's happening. They've kind of started to freestyle a little bit, but I, I, I overall I like their comp. The, the, the structure of it, while there is not a you know quotation marks main tank, uh, you know you have you have that split pressure in the Leoric. You have your you know your Deathwing tanky body, and then you have your Zul who kind of frontlining as well. Uh, it scares me a little bit the. The Deathwing, but I know Turk plays a very kind of clumpy, wants to fight melee characters and like Rag, Arthas, Greymane, like he's he's gonna have a really good time with that, right? Rag is actually, I wouldn't say undervalued on this map, it's just not very, it's not prioritized, but a strong Ragnaros player like Alora, like I've watched her stream, I've watched her Ragnaros play, it's strong. She knows how to combo mm -hmm. chase and have sustained damage with this hero. I mean, and then you have Mephisto as well, which is a really impressive force. Um, I think I've actually seen like one Liam game of Mephisto, but we're going to be seeing another one right now. I'm I'm so excited about this one. Between both teams, I don't know who I give it over to. Like like Mac, like purely based on the draft and map, teams aside, previous games aside, players aside, who do you like it? Just looking at the comps on the map. Uh, I I actually Hardly. like Smiler's comp. Yeah. Yeah, I I think that they they have they have. They have a pretty strong objective fight, right? They have a very strong defense, um, even via uh, the Sylvanas passive, right? Like they, they they can rag for it and protect from that. Um, and and honestly, they have a pretty good map. Like I'm sure the rag is going to take Lava Wave at ten, right? That that's gonna kind of soak up maybe if uh, the the Deathwing wants to split and then fly in, or if the Leoric or Zul are kind of pushing off an off lane, you know, it'll allow the Rag to be there on the objective or or be be where she needs to be at, uh, and kind of create that pressure while also stopping that push or that split that comes out from them. So I like their comp a bit better. Um, we're gonna see a lot of the strength come on to Trick as he you know gets chunked out here a little bit. He's gonna look to stay back, but he'll definitely be their scaling factor. We do have the anti heal coming out from Zul at level 20 as well, which will be a big kind of wind turning condition as you were talking about the Alex Straza. We do have Shackler picked up by that Zool, and so that we'll be able to get them um, some 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 armor as well. But either, oh, sorry, hold on. Right now, they're going to be chasing under the Turk. They don't have any sort of, um, well, roots onto them because they are basically a vehicle. So the only thing you can do to uh, the Turk right now is, I believe, using a stop. And uh, there are no stops on the left-hand side. So even even like Durance of Hate's going to do nothing. You can actually send Durance of Hate onto the Turk, but it, it, it potentially could be spreading. Other things that are happening on the map is, is we're gonna have a gray man getting blown up right there. Laura taking so much damage and she's gonna be going down as well. A double kill for the members of Turkish Delight one minute into our game. We'll see now off of that double kill if uh, Liam is, yeah, he's heads up enough to go and try to soak that top lane. You just need to not let, you know, a couple kills like that get your team too far behind. 
Uh, and the important thing there is to kind of assess where the map's at and, and, and make sure not to lose that that lane XP. Um, and he does a good job there as well. So the camp's coming out here from the Turkish Delight side. <clears throat> and they are going to be looking for that bottom camp as well. Zul's pushed out mid. Deathwing can global maybe at this point. He might have it up, maybe not. He might just be looking to push mid as well. He's got yeah, some spears a, behind a, him there. Getting some good damage on the war. Done on that one. Because they can't, obviously, they have to not use abilities for four seconds to Oh, to true, true. Casted, so. it's, it's technically off cooldown, but it isn't in, in a sense. Okay. I'm watching it on, on my monitor. Uh, gotcha. I just, I can see it in the bottom left. But uh, we are going to be having Mockery and Kyberry's grabbing this camp for bottom lane. This is... Uh, Alora stepping into mid onto the Turk, who still has that 20 armor, gonna be lunging forward with that onslaught onto Big Scoop, not able to connect, uses the incinerate just to get some AoE damage. They do Ooh. have the Frozen Tempest Ooh. up and active, doesn't have, didn't go into the, uh, oh, Shadow Skull Missile, doesn't connect onto the Turk. This Deathwing is sitting at 170 health, like, it is so very low, and they get the flight away, and they're gonna survive. Vesper was so close to getting that Skull Missile and last little bit of damage into them, but don't manage to do so, and they're able to get out with their life. I was gonna say, the Turk just have, like, the most massive brain bait? Like, he was at 5% health and eat into them, and they're like, we definitely should kill this, and then, you know, his team shows up and he gets away with, you know, the 5-10% that he had left. Uh, yeah, really close there. I, that W taunt on... Deathwing and Destroyer from just does so much. It has so much sustains. It's kind of deceiving at times, right? I was I was looking looking at the drafts and I was and I was watching Mephisto using the um, Shady Mephisto as well as the uh, Lightning Nova, which is that giant lightning circle you see around around them. And I believe there is percent based damage at level it's, thirteen is coming it, out from is Mephisto. It thirteen or sixteen? I think it might be I, sixteen. I, I think it might be, I can't remember, it's either 13 or 16. Yeah. And uh, and so I'm waiting to see, like, they might actually really start to skyrocket on the side of the Smilers with that, but this is majority of the uh, Shrine going over to them. Oh, hold on, really quickly. In top lane, we actually have Allura and Trickster trying to battle out, and they find the kill onto Ragnaros. And so with that, they get seven talents here. They're going to be up three kills on the side of Turkish Delight, and they've got a whole lot of momentum in their favor here. Yeah, at this point, I think you kind of need to chalk up the objective. You could look to fight and, and really hard force it, but if yeah. you, you go into them here, you, you need to have the intention to, to get kills, right? Uh, we see a Binding actually connect on Moon there. Big Scoop gonna take down the Deathwing as well, and the objective goes over to Smiler's side. This is gonna be pushing in to the bottom lane. Well, the entire wall's up there. It'll just probably get skipped over here by Leon. Um, Trixler is doing a great job to create pressure here in the top lane, though, for his team. Kind of peeling back the damage that this mortal is actually, or this Punisher is actually doing to the bottom lane, as he's getting about the equivalent in the top lane as well. Uh, so we we do see, yeah, that, that is it's gonna be mute and mid lane just shredding through that yeah. front gate. And, and and you know what, this is this is great. Oh wait, hold on, Big Scoop getting caught out by the Bone Prison. They're actually gonna be able to make it out just fine. Uh, so, Iceborne that, Fortitude. That's mm -hmm. gonna be really good versus the Roots as the game goes on. Cataclysm out from the Turk right now. They're going to be inting onto Vesper, who's trying to get themselves out of here. That's going to be Greyman going down. They did soft push that mid lane front gate, but the Turk and friends are chasing further out. Lake Food throws out a healing circle, but they keep chasing in. Trickster with a huge slow. There's going to be a root onto Big Scoop. No Icebound Fortitude this time. They end up going down. Lake Food trying to make it out alive. Does manage to do so with a couple hundred health. They back off. Vesper drives out for a little extra damage, but they're going to be able to get back to that Shit Mephisto origin point. Next Punisher will be top lane, and if they're able to get this on the side of Turkish Delight, they've actually already got the front gate gone, and that might work out for them to be able to push up onto a, uh, onto a fort, maybe even get a fort and go to a keep front gate. But that's going to be up in about a minute to two minutes, so right now it's going to be cycling around the map, getting experience, clearing up the waves, and looking for our 10 talent. And uh, just also, well, not giving over any kills as it's one to five, and that's yeah. why you're seeing a massive, massive experience gain from Turkish Delight. We really, we really need to see Turkish Delight not get caught and possibly push an advantage with this 10 here. We see actually Allure getting caught out here mid. A nice slow comes out from the Deathwing and the Entomb is going to connect on the moon. He, I, very clean play there, actually just jumping out of the Entomb on the Leon uh, and, and able to escape there on the Greyman. Good good use of his uh, Greyman mechanics there, um, able to escape. But yeah, so just looking to push at that 10 advantage, right? Either get it through walls you know don't let this easy camp just get taken away for free right this is a time where you need to kind of assert your dominance as you you have it as because of this heroic talent leads uh we see a pause here um <laughs> just just everyone oh okay so we got it we got a dead mouse unfortunately all right oh they're back we're good okay i'll come just a second 
Uh, okay. Cool. And we're back. Yeah. So I, I, I would like to have not seen them just give that easy camp up, right? Um, their, their window was only so, so small and, and what they got was it from it was like, I guess they, they, you know, were able to get a pick on the war, which is nice. Continue to increase that lead. They need to use those leads. And, and in this case, I don't think they'll actually hit level 13 before this top shrine. So it will be maybe an even talent tier. It'll be fairly close to level 13 here. Lava wave coming out on top, proxying that out with that hard camp pushing in. And Alora uses that, you know, uses that space. She she knows how her character works. Uses that space to rotate down now, right? We have a 4v5 breaking out here. Potentially Turk going down. He's able to sustain a lot with his W. Goes for the Cataclysm and is taken out with that Curse Bullet. Such a strong, just so, so strong versus... There's, I want to shout out, Kyberry's had a really, really good uh, chastise as well, connecting onto someone who was actually, I think it might have been Moon or someone who was about to get the last little hit onto Deathwing. Bought a couple extra seconds, but right now the top lane pressure is amounting. Deathwing can fly up into the sky and then drop down onto the objective from core when they respawn, but they're going to have to give over this front gate as Trickster's going to be clearing back the wave. They do have that Neil Peasants from level 4 for a little faster clear. Leon Black and Friends going to be grabbing the Bruiser Camp on the right-hand side, and we do have our Deathwing back up, and I believe they did fly into the sky as well. We're not seeing them on our mini currently but objective has started and it's going to be a mortar punisher potentially going over the smilers let's see if we actually ooh, uh, turk actually landing towards the friendly team rather than engaging but this is a bit of a split fight here mac we need a big sylvanas silence like good in two man the cataclysm is going to connect on the big scoop taking so much damage he sounds in there but he does have his ghouls going allure in the back getting healed up from the alex Charles from the sky but she is taken out Moonfair going to the working front, probably going to use that to get away here. The Drain has connected from Trixler. Mockery playing up as well. Dagger comes out on the moon, taking a ton of damage. Turk leaving all of that Chipotle that he ate earlier out there. Uh, just <laughs> breathing as much hot fire as he possibly can. But Lakefu still has her Alex Charles of Dragon form up. It is a 25-25, but they're playing in like it's a 4v... Or like it's a 5v5 here, right? They, they're very confident and they're asserting that confidence. But we see the re-engage here coming out from Turkish Delight. Let's see how this goes. And when Light Bomb is going to connect. Lake Thu's eye frame from the Dragon Transform actually saves her from the Sun. Trixler getting so much healing from Kai. Big Scoop is taken out. Leon Block chopping it up. He is able to connect the Root on the Moon who goes down. Lake Thu takes down as well. Vespertine. Does he have his E up? He's going down as well. Allura with the Punisher even punching them in the back. No one cares. Allura could turn this. Yeah, Laura actually is going to find a kill on the Deathwing right there with the hammer. We actually have Sylvanas Harthing back just above us. Punisher is going to be coming through. Laura is actually going to be 1v1ing into Trixler, who I think Ooh, Trixler is feeling confident with this. Do they get the drain? They actually have the drain currently oh. going, but they're going to be backing off. And this will be Punisher pushing up, but it's not going to have a whole lot with them. Kyberry is actually playing to the far side of the screen. Laura chasing onto Trixler. Hold on. Is this actually... They're going to try and drain hope and live through this. Sylvanas and, and Anduin are dealing with the Punisher in, oh, Big Scoop comes in. That should be Arthas finding the last little bit of damage. They're going to get that last hit, and they do manage to find a kill onto Leoric. But they stagger that out. They don't get any push pressure with the Punisher, and it looks like this is going to be... Oh, they actually could look to push up onto the fort here. Allura doesn't have a wave to proc as well, so it seems like Punisher, Punisher actually just like, oh, you guys got the fort. Wait, oh, oh. <laughs> down. Anyways, Deathwing actually flying in here too, though. Turk, yeah. Turk looking. Cataclysm comes out a little off to the side, but... He might be able to get the body block on the big scoop. The Sylvanas arrow does come out, but Iceborne Fortitude is up. It is down now for this root though, and Entune connects. This Ragfort might be huge. Three-man stun into an E. Turk is actually... Lake Fu. He's breathing Lake fire. Lake Fu is so weak on the back. Can Trick finish her? One more auto or Q. He is able to. Allura is slowed from Turk. Is his W going to be back up? Is he going to be able to sustain? He goes for it and misses. Trick playing very confidently here. Leon as well, right behind him. So weak, and the Poison Nova is just a little hair too late. Allura is able to get out of there. And not only is a fort saved, but potentially a fort taken. Vespertine looking at Lee on there. Lava Wave coming out. Going to proxy out that wave. Moon just saying, guys, guess what? I'm actually just installed Diablo 4. I'm just going to run down mid, play by myself, pick up a fort for us, and die. Maybe. Maybe not. Potentially. Curse Bolt into Trick's face. On the ground. Around into Worgen form. Oh, Leon Black clearing up the wave, and this is Sylvanas going to be backing out. They did manage to get the fort up there. It was at like 300 and something health, so they went in there and got like three auto attacks in, and that cleared it out. 16 Talents here is going to be coming through on both these sides fairly soon, and uh, 
I, I, I'll be honest here, Mac. Like, it's such a back and forth game. I'm not sure who's going to take this because, like, like, it's five to 13 in kills, but that really doesn't. It doesn't feel like that kind of game. Like, the, the members of Smilers have had consistently good fights. And as we were saying beforehand, 16 talents here is not too far off. And I do believe the percent based damage you called that correct is going to be at level 16 for this. Um, for this Mephisto, so maybe they come online and that's that's the power spike they need. I mean, they're already doing fairly well. Also to note, the uh, Frost Presence had 18 out of the 20 stacks for the members of Smilers. We've also got 9 out of the, I believe it's 15 for the Fire, and 88 on the Uncapped Unfurling Shadows for the Sylvanas. Just for everyone at home wondering as they're going to be just poking onto this bottom lane, Tricks are trying to make their way out of there, and I think they should be able to disengage with the Wraith Lock. Well, yeah, I don't maybe think, not. I don't think we can really sleep on the fact that Smilers did just win that 45 on that shrine, yeah. right? Like, and that comp, their comp is only going to get stronger, but so is Turkish Delights. You know, we're going to get the Leork 20. We're going to get the the Zul 20. Um, I like this push a lot here from Smilers. Just knowing that Trick's dead, they're just going in and Turk and insane Alora. Cataclysm pushing them off. Alora looking to turn in. Actually slowed here. She could get caught out here. Potentially if Trick spawns back up. Here it is, he looks for the Entomb, he connects the two-man Entomb. But the Rag 4 is gonna get up as well. Three-man stun coming out from Rag, Turk taking a lot of damage. Leon gets off a of Poison Nova in the middle. Lakefu is gonna be able to drag in as well. Vix Group taking a lot of damage from Mockery here on Sylvanas. But the heal from Alex Charza is gonna connect on all five of this team members. Tricks are taking down, maybe in the bot lane, he is going to go down. Turk activating his passive at level 16 for that shield. Vesper team doing so much damage, but I think that that is gonna be about it. Unless Moon still with on the prowl here. Now another five man heal from Alex Charles. The dragon form has been used. Summer is taken out in the top lane for Turkish light side. As long as Moon can manage that on the prowl at 16, I think he can do a lot of damage here. They're really pushing into this team very well. Like, as, as we said, like, power spikes are coming through Static Field for that Mephisto getting a whole lot of damage. I'm just curious. I'm going to peek at some of the stats. Um, 48,000 heroic from that Mephisto. We've got 130,000 siege damage from uh, the Ragnaros, 113 from the Zul, and 45,000 when it comes to heroic damage from our Sylvanas' Light Bomb comes out. They find the Alexstrasza. The big scoop is in a bit of a rough spot. The Drain oh. Hope is not. Actually, the Drain Hope gets the value. Actually, somehow Mockery stole that kill away. The Durance of Hate comes out. <laughs> From the uh, from Vesper as they chase onto Allure, they're gonna find the Bone Person onto them. The blow up should be there between the members that are actively on that on that Ragnaros, and Vesper is able to poke out here and there. And that was a massive turn in favor for Turkish Delight. Like the momentum that they had built on the side of Smilers was just shut down as we get into our third objective of the game. That's huge for them here, McIntyre. I think this I think this will be their first objective of the game, right? And yes. I, one thing that we really got to see there was while that fight bottom was so hectic and crazy a lot of those big buttons were used out of team smilers right we, we saw the dragon form we, we 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 saw the the rag fort right like these are things that they really need in order to win these shrines and using those in a fight that is i don't want to say over nothing because we were fighting for the bot keep you know we're not using those heavy cooldowns that we must have for the objectives, uh, for those objectives, right? And yeah, and, and here we go. As Turkish Delight picks up their first shrine, let's see, let's see how well they they push this advantage. Maybe even get a a twenty in here somewhere, depending on how well they soak. Yeah, it's, that's that's going to be the big thing is if if they can pick up some soak. But here's yeah, the let's thing. do some comms. Yeah, let's show uh, defending team. Uh, yeah, sure. Smilers. Uh, Smilers. I'm gonna kill Deathwing, I think. Sylvanas used the passive already. That's good. For us. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna try and pull uh, it good, down. Can you back? Can you back? Nice. I think we can farm them here if they say. They're actually on you, maybe. Yeah, they have. Yeah, yeah, I backed them. I can switch up. They got nothing with this. Alright, hey, good job. Alright, I get a dragon. Maybe you pushed up with it? Out of my ult now. Or do you guys want to hold? Do you guys? I think it's better to do this. We can even do this, yeah. This be we invade yeah. I think we double camp and then pressure top. They might be on it, we have to hurry. Just uh, get out there if we can. They die here. Deathwing's not up for a while. They still die here, maybe. I'm gonna blink over. I can go if we wanna go. 
Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Charge in. Leon, Leon, Leon. Back up, back up. Uh, we back up. We back up. out, 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 out. I cannot move. Try to get up. Yeah. Just back up. So we can heal. Yeah. Need help. Oh, he ulted on you. Yeah. Just get out. I can root. That poison over. Oh, that's freaking dead point. Never mind. Dragon on dragon action. That was nuts. I don't think yeah, I can. Yeah, we, we never, we never dive there. My jaw is on my desk, McIntyre. <laughs> that poison note that, that was buried a, alive that was in a, Tomb with the poison mm. Nova from Leon, and Leon did go for the upgrade. So it's actually healing them. Yeah. And the damage over time is like, that was so dirty. <laughs> And he's gone. And he's gone. Like he's gone. All uh, was that curse strikes? Curse strikes. Yeah. He... Yeah. So he was just wah 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 wah. Oh, we seen into him here too on Liam. Oh, Liam. This is buried alive, meaning that buried they have alive. No he's away. healing a lot here, though. Definitely lands on top of them. Very cool. Uh, maybe. Oh, no, the incinerate was already cast before they actually. We still have the rag for The rag for can still save here. We got the lava wave out of core. Alora's yes. known to kind of make that play, and, and people tend to. Oh, she's actually able to get this. If she gets a hammer and a breath, it's so much damage. Yeah, Kai is so weak. Oh, Moon has showed up as well. He's looking to pressure out Turk. The root is going to connect on Moon. He's not going to be able to roll in just yet. He's got on the prowl here, though. They're chasing him out. Leon with a massive poison nova connecting on all four members. Yep, big scoop. Got a few more ghouls here to keep him alive. Maybe he can get a heal from Lake Fu. He's not able to. Lake Fu's. Baroque is up. She needs to hit that right now. Oh, well timed. They could turn this still. Allura, so much space here, right? Yep. The le the shifting meteor Whoa. chasing Deathwing <laughs> right there was so well played. And I believe I just heard a blink coming out. Mockery, from yeah, with a bolt well, of the yeah. storm there to get away from Moon. And bottom is getting pressured out here too. And we <laughs> also have an objective here. Mind you, Lake Fu did just hit her heroic. I'm not sure where her dragon CD is at. Uh, currently it is at it's uh, 68 seconds. Okay, so we will no, have me, no. That's heroic. No, no, her her dragon form is up and available. Is dragon it up? Is up. Yeah, it is. Okay, so she needs to hit it like right now, and they need to start fighting. She needs a W and dragon. Here we go. From Leorg, that's a silence onto one of them. That is mean for able to make it out. Durance of Fate did connect. Life, I'm going to be going out into Kai Bears, who's just trying to get away from Alora. Trickster's going to be slowing them. Should be going down right there. Leon very low themselves. They don't have a Poison Nova, so they're going to get picked off right there. That's going to be a two for none. They also had that kill on the Deathwing earlier. And I, 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 Kai Bears? Able to get the flash heal off in time. This is the weak lane too, right? This is Turkish Delight's weak lane. Mm-hmm. They have a keep very, very low, and they got 30 seconds on Leoric, who can cheat death, and 40 seconds on Azul. This is looking a little hairy, but look at look at Sylvanas in top lane. What is the cheeky play coming out from Mockery oh, no. and Friends? I'm not There's sure, no sure not I like it. He needs, he needs to be there, like, right now. Yeah. Otherwise, this Punisher is going to the house. Actually, or just, the Punisher doesn't even... They don't even care about the Punisher. They're just going to go to the house. There's no Sylvanas to stop them. Ragnaros does pop the Molten Core. Deathwing going to be playing to the far side of this. This is Core falling rapidly. Punisher still walking its way down the lane. That's going to be Cataclysm coming out from this Deathwing. Big scoop. Wailing Air from Sylvanas does not connect. We have the Cleansing Flame coming out from the Alex Draza. There was a Bellowing Roar out from that Deathwing as well. Punisher is going to be over here, but Core is falling 42%. Punisher's on Core right now. Deathwing does fall down. And ladies and gentlemen, I think we are going to be heading into a game number seven here. <laughs> A horseless, a mountless, a whatever you want to call it game. No, 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 no. I think these, I think these players are playing so well. Mm -hmm. These games are so good that we'll just, we'll just let them have one more normal game. All right. So no Z's on that one. Um, they, are we, they, are we going to take a short break before this game seven? I do not know. Okay. okay. So we will, we, uh, we're going to show you all stats for a couple seconds here. We're going to, we're going to message out the teams, let them know they have another standard game. We're going to get all that, try and I'll try and set all that up while we are getting ready for this but we're gonna take a short break we're all gonna run to the bathroom get ourselves ready for a game number seven our final match of the evening to determine who's going to be taking home the nice little prize pool that we have don't go anywhere see you all soon for more here's the storm action